Uh, as you probably know, Hyperloop has been an idea that's been published by Elon Musk uh, in the open. Uh, two years ago, we founded the company. 18 months ago, um, we started developing technology, which is basically using a depressurized tube, um, removing air drag, air resistance in, the, in a controlled environment, uh, using a linear motor to propel a part, the vehicle, as we call it, uh, up to 1200 kilometers per hour um, and controlling the speed uh, within the tube so that we can have a vehicle every six seconds. That enables a lot of applications right, ranging from airport connectors to port inland distribution center connectors to uh, long or mid-range uh, passenger transportation connectors uh, which are able to really um, um, accommodate volatility in demand and in demand traffic dem demand as we know it over noon there's a higher demand as in the, in the morning and in the afternoon so we're trying to accommodate that with the new uh, mode of operation with a new technical system called Hyperloop um, and this will have significant impact in the way people perceive transportation in the future uh, imagine you could live in uh, London and work in Paris or vice versa live in San Francisco work in Los Angeles, uh, live in Moscow and work in St. Petersburg. Uh, I think this is uh, going to have significant impact on how people perceive uh, distance. It becomes a matter of time, not of distance. So you could go for a date or for the business dinner living in Moscow, going to St. Petersburg, because the time between the both, both cities would be 25 minutes. So I think that gives you a little idea on uh, where we see um, how we see that impact on pe how people live together, how communities act together, how um, economies can flourish because transportation commuting does not is not an issue anymore um, as we have it today. Greatly supported by one of our early investors, Caspian VC. Uh, we're talking to many uh, many uh, thought leaders in in Russia. Uh, have initial dis discussions uh, with the RGD, very early initial discussions with the city of Moscow uh, to look at possible applications um, because there is a very attractive uh, the cost structure of how Hyperloop is going to be built and Hyperloop is going to be run and operated is very attractive uh, and the Russian market with long distances uh, with affinity to te technology uh, is very attractive for Hyperloop.